Okay. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're watching me for the first time today, I'm Princess. You're welcome. Please do subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for joining me again today. I really, really appreciate your support. So in today's, in today's video, guys, you guys can see how someone here, his name is... Miss Mark. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Bismarck or Koku. Koku, okay. Yeah. And I'm um, Yawa. Uh, those of you who have been following me for a while, you know I'm an Ewe from the Volta region of Ghana. And he's also an Ewe and he's called Koku. I'm number Yawa. Nine. <laughs> number nine. Yeah, number nine. Okay. You know, yeah, no, okay. We'll talk about that one. So, you guys know I was today on today's show, guys, we are coming to talk about Ewe names and their meanings. Most of you who know Ewe, you know how the name, like, their 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 children and then always are found in the volta region of ghana they are found in um some parts of nigeria benin and then togo, togo yeah and now that's part of the world oh yeah 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 so you guys we are trending okay we are trending <laughs> it's a huge tribe <laughs> so it's a huge tribe you know so i can just say our our language is an international language which yeah. means that when you go to other parts of the country other parts of the world you will still meet a west you still it's 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 uh, we have a whole other department in the in the university in germany oh okay yeah. so you guys we are trending okay we are trending so today is yawa and koku on the show so we are going to give names like um it can be both sexes it can be males or females whatever it is and always name their children according to a lot of things some like my name yawa I was named Yawa because I'm a Thursday born. He was named Koku because he's a Wednesday born. And it depends on every name. Most people are named, they name their children depending on whatever situation they are in. Sometimes a mother goes to deliver her baby and on the day of delivery, she, she, like, she loses the child's father. So when they are naming this child, they name the child according to the event that has happened as, as if he's a replacement, if he's a, he's a boy they name him after his father so we have names like that and also when misfortunes do happen let's say a mother gives birth all the time and then loses the baby after childbirth when he gives birth to another one and then that child survives for a certain period of time they give they give a certain name to that child so most of you know always you know that our names are kind of people see their names to be weird but it's not weird that is how the Ewe tribe is so without uh, much I don't want to talk much guys let's just guy let's get right into this video and then start with the name so i think you give the first name and then we'll see we'll see the meaning to the name okay so as you said earlier my name koku means i was born on a wednesday yeah yeah and then so for instance a name like enam 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 mm -hmm. i think that's a short form for Ma Nam. Yeah. Or Mawin. Ma, yeah, Mawin. Mawin. But some people prefer to just give ma it their name. Uh -huh. And then other people to say Mawin. Yeah. And that Mawin means God, God has given. given. Or, yeah, literally. Yeah. So. And then when you even say Mawin Nam, it's also the same thing. But that one is kind of God has given, given me. me. Yeah. Meaning you've added you to it. Yeah. So most of the names they have the same meaning, but you see different pronunciations. Yeah. Like Enam, it still means. He has given me and that is god that's referring to god yeah, yeah. yeah. Nam. god has given me and then mawena it's like god gives yeah. so you see that it's the same name the same kind of meaning and all that but different pronunciations and this mawena and mawenam i think enam particular is given to females females yeah most but of times most of the time the mawena you know, is most of the names are unisex yeah, yes, but most of the names. Yes, most of the names, but some really fit females than males. Yes. So you see majority of the names, you can see it's only females who have those names. Yeah. And then a few too, you can see it's only males. It's only males. So like the Enam, I've only heard Enam being given to like females. females yeah. The Mawena, I've seen a couple of guys called Mawena. Really? Mm, but Mawena, Mawena is... It's weird. Yeah, it's weird. Guy, <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen some <laughs> it's, before. It's some way. I've seen some before, Mawiena, like Mawiena, Mawiena, for Mawiena, I know a certain man called for Mawiena. Do you know any lady called Elik Plim? <laughs> never. What is the meaning of Elik Plim? Elik Plim means God is with me. Yeah, literally. So yeah, so Elik you know such names, once it's related to God, people just believe that anyone can like be given such a name, Mawiena, Elik Plim. 
It doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman. God is with you. So always give such names. That's why you go somewhere. Once they mention someone's name, even if it's in English, probably like a name like Godsway. In okay. where we call it. Um, okay, so Godsway, it's, it's ever translated to English. Yes. So Godsway is a. Hey, what? Mouth is God's way. Yeah, it's God's So when you hear somebody being called God's way, don't think it's weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a trans- direct translation yes. from um well, uh, to, to the English. To the English so when most people when they hear God's way, God's way, they just say, Oh, this person is from the Volta region because right. they believe that we we are the ones who give such but names. Nigerians to give uh, give names. Very like true. Like, um, <laughs> it's very true. Um I God's think way, God's way, even yeah. Sunday, I think that, yeah, Sunday, Tuesday, those things. So you see that it's just the same kind the of same thing. thing but we like we have given it in our native, um, native uh, names uh-huh. we have for the days of the week. Yes. Yeah. So God's way, which is Maupemo. In Ewa is Maupemo. So you see that people are called Maupemo. And such a this particular name is for both both sexes because <laughs> I have a sister called Maupemo and I know of a, a guy called Maupemo. So you see that when well, you want to translate the lady's name to like into English, it will, she will be called Gosway. But when you call her Gosway, people will be like, really? Why yeah. is she called Gosway? And yet, that's how we it name. has a meaning. No name no, doesn't, doesn't have yeah, doesn't a have meaning. meaning. In, we always have way. meaning to every, every name we give. Yeah. And also a name like um, Doji. Doji. Yeah. Doji. It's Doji. Like, like a word of encouragement. Yes. Maybe at the at the moment the lady was going through labor or something. Maybe it was difficult. So, yeah, and you know, maybe she went through a lot a to lot. have that yeah. baby. So, so when the baby comes, they give such names like Doji. Doji. It literally means yes. um. Uh, yeah, yeah, endure. Uh, I don't know endure, if I say endure. Yeah, endure, endure. Endure is the right word. Right yeah. yeah, endure. endure. Or some people, people say are endurance. Called endurance. People yes, are Nigerians say really that. Do give endurance. <laughs> so Nigerians and Ewes are kind of the yeah, same yeah, people yeah, yeah. because it's like we give same kind of names yeah. to yes because endurance is doji in Ewe. Doji, yeah. yes doji. so that's we have those names in Ewe, and then other tribes too they have the english version yeah. so that is an Ewe name like and a name uh, like faji 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 nam you've never yes. heard faji nam i've never really heard but yeah. like as you mentioned <laughs> faji nam it just means like is it comfort, comfort my heart or yeah. like comfort, comfort my me. soul or like fajinam yeah like comfort me you yeah know, comfort simply, me comfort simply me. comfort me is true yeah. so you know so, it, like our names for instance the name like uh, fajinam what do you think will prompt somebody to give the, 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 the child fajinam oh probably maybe that that, that mother has had um mis- maybe she has lost most of her, her children, children. And, and finally she has one mm-hmm. which she believes that would com- stay yeah. or will comfort her soul so she decided to just name so we are always we just sometimes we just have a belief a certain kind of belief and then we name our children yeah. someone will just give birth and see the baby and then just decide to call the baby like a name like um <laughs> like <laughs> That's that a way? That's <laughs> so someone will be like someone just decide to give a name like Mokopo. No, Mokopo. That's hope. That is hope. You see, so like sometimes it just it's just someone's thinking. Just give birth and be like, oh, this baby. I hope this and this and this on the day they. It doesn't mean that after the <laughs> some people they decide not to even add English names to it. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. give the uh, way the way it should be. and add the same name and that is it. And that is it. So when someone is called Mokopo. The person goes to school and then writes Mokoko as the first name and then that ends it. The person can but, decide to translate it to hope. Yes. But we have people called hope. Hope. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Hope. And probably because, you know, um, most children, um, I would have to say, they, they say, nowadays they'll be like, what's your Christian name? What's your Christian name? And stuff like that. Yes. So most of the people think it's wise that we have names, English names and their meanings, like yeah. which are referred to as the Christian name. So they also decide to like, take such names to add to their away names and all of that so what other name do you I have i think we have selassie selassie you know selassie selassie i think i've heard it's like both, both sexes, sexes ladies yeah. and but then you then. know the, the ethiopians have selassie i've never heard oh no i heard uh hayley selassie they are emperor you never heard of yeah, him yeah yeah yeah, 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 Even, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah. I, mean, they have, uh, I don't know whether they are they were, a, a word, maybe because we have, we have semenya there. In uh, Ethiopia, uh, no, South Africa, and it's also she's a, a runner, Kasper Semenya. 
and are you sure it's not probably an airway from Ghana i don't know i don't know like you know the migration was like it was my yeah we scattered from, yeah, yeah, all so over so it might be it might be you know she 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 took that name she, yeah but semenya you know semenya do you, you know the meaning semenya semenya same means uh like destiny destiny yeah, semenya, so like, it's like i know my destiny i know semenya, my destiny yeah. destiny issue some, some something of that sort i don't really know the exact meaning but i'm sure it has something to do with destiny destiny is true it's true it's but i know true. there are people called uh se, oh? yeah, se. Uh, se okay, se se yes i said the name said in my dinam. brother is said them mm-hmm. said them it's kind of uh destiny has saved me i don't know like said them yeah, yeah. and then so last thing you mentioned kind of means like um god has listened to me or god has heard or uh, what do you think selassie Selassie. or god hears yeah, they, yeah or god listen god, no god, god hears. has heard me your god has heard me yeah, yeah please if you meaning. have any better meaning yeah, yeah. you can as well leave your comment down below like selassie what does it really mean does god it mean has god has heard me god hears okay. or god listens or what what does that does it mean maybe you, can you know these names will go a long way to you know have impact in the lives of exactly of is exactly them, you know? exactly we don't believe you name the child with yeah. sometimes the child i know a certain guy who they gave name to as uh, freedom i don't know i don't like they translated it in a way no, Ablo Ablo day. Day. Uh-huh. and then he was called freedom at a point in time that name was having an effect on him and i Ow. think ah the mother just said the guy is i don't know why she 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 she, she thought of a different thing and then gave freedom to the guy but growing up this guy doesn't really care about anything Nothing. He, just he doesn't free, he's like, just free like goes about nothing bothers him yeah. what you see as being wrong he doesn't see it as is wrong he does whatever he wants he like so it's like at the end of the day people were beginning to think and say that the name is having an effect on him so they should change it but i don't believe a name that has been named someone from like childhood when it's changed it will change it's anything it wouldn't it's even change anything change, change, change. so most things do have effect on a lot of people and always name their children according to what they believe and See we that? have some really really weird names too you know we have weird names very, and those names are names. strong names very heavy on and the then uh, in, uh, well, we call them uh jiku jiku inko yeah. we have me i didn't know in school <laughs> oh, we have okay. some names we have which are jiku jiku inko no. we have some names which are we have different different names i have, I have a friend who is called kudomo that's his name kudomo kudomo we, yeah and he kind of deaf deaf has a scott a no deaf 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 ray uh-huh oh, it's road. true deaf road deaf road and then you know this jiku jiku call that we are saying is kind of you give birth they die you give birth they die so at the end of the day when you give when you give birth to a child they believe that you give a certain weird and scary name to that child to prevent death from like coming close so we even give give certain names that means that's been no not that's been. that's collector and then if you rub a uh, rubbish refuse them. Them. Refuse them. <laughs> so like i always believe that when you give such weird and then strange and then um scary names to the, the children or the child Death it scares that uh, away from that child so you see that someone has given birth and then has named that child belon that is true belon <laughs> and it's is that is is the, the, the person's name so you'll be wondering why would they call someone belon which means rubbish collector. rubbish collector you'll be wondering so they give such names to the children to scare death and then there are names also like um these are spiritual reasons right yeah kind of mm. and then we have names that like they but name the child those names who, who gives the names is it the, the parents or maybe a, a priest no, we have a priest they say we shouldn't call them fetish priests a priest oh uh, i or, think uh family head uh, uh, the the elder and um, how we call them uh, uh, head, head of or family. like head of family yeah um, and then we have names that they, they are people are named according to where they gave birth to them like a woman going to the farm and then she, she delivers, delivers on the road yeah. they can name that child Agbelemo, yeah. which means just to farm uh, farm from the road, road to the farm. Uh-huh, from the road to the farm something like from that the road to the farm. Yeah, so, so well, she have weird names and they are true names when you hear them don't be like is this a name it's actually a name they give names according to certain situations and i think spiritual reasons back, back such names such as names, well yeah, yeah. And it, it works. Let nobody deceive you. That yeah, name. it doesn't work. It it's works. Very, it really works. Very, so those are Blemon, and then someone gives birth. Um, uh, like I, my friend uh, Alingo Palma, he's called Eliplim. Yeah, but personally, I call him Agbede Koku. <laughs> Why? Why yeah, Agbede Koku? <laughs> yes, because he doesn't like fufu. So when I call him Agbede Koku, he started eating fufu. Oh, uh, yeah. Just on a light so it's like the name is working on him. <laughs> so such names do happen. I wanted to mention a certain name, like it has escaped me, like a baby, a, 
a baby who has been they give it to a baby who is okay and also we have names that let's say um you are a third born of a certain family let's say your mother had a, the first child was a male the second was a male and then you are the third and you are also a male they call you mensa you know about that one Mm, but the third name, male name is Mensa, you know, me, but other tribes who have other Mensa tribes, as their surname. And but in a way, they have a different meaning to the Mensa. Rate, yes. But they said, they, okay, so it's so, so in we, our, should, we should say it's 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 for that tribe because they say the meaning of the Mensa means the third born. Okay, Mensa, okay, which has been corrupted to Mensa. to Mensa. So a way so, so we'll say maybe we took that name from those people because of the in, uh, intermarriage. Something. Stuff and all oh, okay. That, okay. So because Mensa is not really. An I don't name. think Mensa is really an. Ewe name. I was I think thinking it's it's, 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 it's originated name. from Ewe. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure somebody copied from somebody. Yeah. Because these are two different tribes, you know. And also we have a certain day. Okay. Let's let's say Monday names when a a, a lady is born on a Monday. Monday in Ewe is called. Uh, it's called Joda. Joda. Yeah, Joda. So when you are born on Monday, quite similar to the accounts, Joda. Eh, you see a mm. slight difference. So, so Joda, surely someone copied from somebody. It's again. true. Yeah. So Joda, you have to go back into history. I mean, copy <laughs> is not wrong. It's not wrong. Ah. Like someone, someone will say once it's when the thing is nice, anything that yeah, is nice, yeah. copy it. Yeah. If we should copy from other countries, we'll be developed. We have a lot of developed countries that copy, copy right? Copy. Me, if it makes sense, <laughs> just copy. So Monday is Joda. Mm-hmm. So when you are a lady and you are born on Monday, Monday, yeah. they can call you Ajo. 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 Ajo, and then a, a man is Komala. Uh, hey, no, Kojo. Kojo. Okay, Kojo. Kojo, yeah, Kojo, Kojo. Kojo. Yeah. And then Tuesday is uh, Blanda, Blada. Mm-hmm. So when you are lady, you are born on Tuesday. They call you Abla. Mm-hmm. If they don't call you Abla, they call you hey, Abra. Abra. Eh, some Abla some put Abra, Abra yeah. huh? It's L or R. Uh huh, uh huh. Exactly. Depends on the. And if you are a guy, you are called uh, Tuesday is. Um, Komala. Komala. Yeah, yeah, why you mean, Komala. yeah, Komala. Yeah, Komala. Komala. Yeah. Or if yeah. you say Kwabena, it's the tree side. Yeah, so yeah. Komala. Komala. Yeah, they are Komala. And yeah, Wednesday when is uh, Kuda. 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 Koku. Koku, yeah. yeah Koku. Then it's Koku. Uh, yeah. The best day. Don't mind him. Thursday bones are the best. And then. Thursday bones cry a lot. <laughs> they cry too much. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Oh no, no, you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> better. So if you are a lady, you are born on Thursday. They can call you Aku. No. Hey. Wednesday is Aku for the ladies. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you are Thursday. Ah, uh, sorry, Wednesday. <laughs> sorry. If you are a lady, you are born on Wednesday. Okay. You are called Aku. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's um. Yawa. Yeah. Uh, if you are born on Thursday, you are called Yawa. If you are a lady. If you are a lady. If you are, you are a guy, you are called oh, Yao. Yao. Which is or, why. A O. Uh huh. Yeah. Y A O. Yeah. That's but other tribes spell it Y A W. Exactly. Friday is Fida. If you are born on Friday, you are a lady. You are called Afi. Afi. If you are a guy, you are called Kofi. Kofi. Yes. Thursday is Memlenda. Oh. Memle. Saturday, not hey. Thursday. <laughs> Why am I even buying like that? <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> I'm not hungry. Uh, Saturday is Memlenda. And if you are a guy, you are born on Saturday, you are called Kwame. Mm, I think, yeah, yeah Kwame. Kwame. And then a lady is called uh, Ama. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Ama. 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 Exactly. Kwame Ama. and Ama, Ama. Exactly. You see, I'm good. Hey. Sunday. Are you sure it's Ama? Yeah. Ama is okay. Ama is not ah, uh, Saturday. Yeah. Jorak base Ajo. Okay, so okay, Saturday yeah. is Ama. Ama, yeah. yeah. And Sunday is is Kos- it Kos- Kosida or Kosida? Mm-hmm. Kosida. Kosra. You are hey, Kosla. Go. Hey, will you mention it? Kos- <laughs> you say Kosida. It hey. Is. Okay, you can be so. But I mean, my my village we call it Kosra. Eh, uh, Kosra be. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's true. Kosla. Hey, Kosida or Kosra? Yeah, however, please Kosra. It's Sunday. If you are you are born on Sunday. You are called oh. um, Akos. Yes. Akoswa. Uh huh. Tam. Akoswa. Uh, most people do yeah, Akos. Yeah, yeah, Akos. Yeah. And if you are a guy, we are called Kosi. My dad is Kosi, and he's born on Sunday. Yes. So and if, if you are, are from Nanglosa, you call it Koshi. Koshi. <laughs> Koshi na. Koshi vi. <laughs> so guys, I hope you guys find and this video. Wait, wait, hey. But, okay, Relax. sorry, sorry. <laughs> the Evers in Togo also have this. They add V to every, every name. Every name. So for instance, Kosi or Koshi. 
Ose Koshivi, yeah. Ajovi, Ajovi, um, Akuvi, Akuvi, Kokuvi. Kokuvi. Yeah. So if you hear the V V V V, it means the person is from the uh, the Everest from the Togo. From the Togo, and then yeah. some are also from Anglo side. The Koshiga, Koshivi, those people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some are also from the Anglo side. Yeah. So if you hear those Koshivi, Koshiga, like Shishi, you see, you hear those C and Vs inside, you know that it's from the Anglo side or the Togo side. Yeah. So I hope you guys like enjoyed watching this video. If you want a part two, we will come up with twins names, a uh, twin names. Yeah. Um, we have other many other names. We'll come up with such names and also languages of the hours and then yeah. other so tribes this, and all this, that. This will continue. This should continue. It's a mistake with the names. Some of the as names well. they can. You can correct us down below. So guys, I hope you found my <laughs> Koku interesting and you like to see him on more of the just let me know down below so we love you guys so much thanks so so much for watching this video till the end please if you're watching and you've not subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for please do subscribe press to this channel button. Play, press and the like button it. like the video share invite other people to this channel and you'll be blessed so till next time